Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the infinite series. Today we will discuss about alternating series estimation theorem. Myself, Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapna Institute. You can simply follow my YouTube channel, Dr. Harish Gar, for finding the more videos. What we have discussed so far, we have discussed in the last lecture, what is the Leibniz test for the alternating series minus 1 raised to power n a n. We have discussed the nature of this convergence and divergence. Now in this lecture, we will see what is the actual error bound on the convergence of this series. Make sure that this series must be a convergent in order to find the bound of the series. So what is the meaning of that? So firstly, we will look about this some motivation and some overview about this concept. Assume that any of the alternating series is of this form and by using this Leibniz test, if you prove that this an will satisfy all these three conditions, then we can say this alternating series is convergent. Once it is a convergent, it means it has a finite sum. Once it's a finite sum, say L is my finite sum. Clearly says that L, because, uh, because this series is my convergent by using the Leibniz test. So this has a capital L is the sum of the series. If I consider the Sn, which is the nth partial sum of the sequence, what is that? This is the nth partial sum, which is called as the approximate sum of this infinite series. So once you have the sum L, which is called as the actual sum, another sum is called as the Sn, which is called as the approximate sum of the series. Then now you have the two different sum, what will be their difference? That is the first question arises here. Then the error L minus Sn, that is the actual sum minus approximate sum. Now you have the two question arises. First obvious question is, within what bound this error lies what is the meaning is within what error this is lies second is what is the nature of this error that means either this is my greater than zero or this is less than zero means whether the actual sum is greater than of the approximate sum or it is a less than of the approximate sum so these two questions are the big challenge in terms of the alternating series the one could be the possible reason is or you can say is it dependent upon the series a n whether both the answers well what is the bound and what is the sign is it dependent upon this a n that is a real motivation and the curiosity about to know, know in it for example say if you consider this series which is clearly says that this is the alternating series so firstly you have to prove that this is a convergent in order to find the error bound your series must be a convergent clearly says that this is a convergent why because if you consider this is my here which is always be the positive what is the decreasing if you take that derivative of this a and clearly say that this is less than zero and as n approaches infinity of this number it goes to the zero therefore this series is convergent by Leibniz test once it's a convergent it means the sum of this series is a finite number say l if I consider the first two terms only like of a1 and a2 and truncate the series then your nth partial sum sequence will be a1 this is my a1 this is my a2 minus 1 raised to power 4 1 by 4 if you consider this as a three term series then your sum will be my here now this is my actual sum this is my truncated sum or approximate sum so the error will be if you consider this case then the error will be L minus 1 by 4 and it is my L minus 3 by 4. Now again the question arises is what is the bound of these two errors are there? Also what is the nature of this bounds whether this is a positive or this is a positive. So remember that the one of the most important concept to remember here is here the L is my unknown. So once L is my unknown then how you find the bound of this difference because l can be 1 l can be 900 l can be 1 lakh so it since the value of the l is unknown so how you can find the error and its nature of this infinite series to understand this term or this two open questions there is a term or there is a theorem called as the alternating series expansion theorem that's why there is a important point of this alternating estimation theorem what is the statement is if you have an alternating series which is convergent by using the Leibniz test and Sn is my nth partial sum sequence then 
the error bound that is L minus Sn is less than of A n plus 1. That is here. It means what is the error first? The first question answer is this. The, my first question answer is what is the bound of this error? It is less than of absolute value of A n plus 1. Now the question is what is the A n plus 1? A n plus 1 is the first unused term after the truncation because we truncate here whatever the term which are written after this series is my a n plus 1 that is my first question answer second question is what is the nature of this whether it's a positive or negative that is depending upon the sign of this that is whatever the sign of this either the plus or minus of this if it is a plus then the error will be my positive sign remember this result is very beneficial because without knowing the exact value of the sum series we can find the bound of the error for example, if we consider the same example here, we see that this is a convergent and if we consider the two first two term, then S2 will be my 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 square because of the first two term, that is my 1 by 4. Then according to you, then the according to this error estimation theorem, what is the bound? It means if you consider the first two terms, this is my first two term, the next term is my 1 over 2 raised power. So this answer is my 1 over 2 raised to the power 3 which is nothing but 1 by absolute value of this which is a 1 by a that is of this also the second answer is what is the nature of this so you can see the sign of this is my positive so you can say error is my positive nature what is the meaning of this that is the l minus s2 is my greater than 0 or you can say the approximate sum underestimates the actual sum on the other hand, if you consider the three term series, that is up to here, this is my three term. And then what will be the error sum? You can see up to the three term, first three term I can consider here. This number is my 1 over 16. So this question mark is my 1 over 16. And what is the, what is the nature of this? So what is, the, what is the nature of this? This is the negative sign. It means L minus 3 over 8 is less than 0. So error is my less than 0 sign of this A4. What is the meaning of that? S is less, L is less than of S3. That is approximate sum overestimate the actual sum. Okay, now whether whatever the bounds we have found, whether it's a less than or greater than, is it match with the actual one? Because we, we are still unknown to know about the actual value of the L. So is it actually the bound which is match with them? So how you can solve them? So we will try to compare the same example with here. Can you write this series in form of here? Yes, because I can write this series in form of this minus 1 over 2n and I can combine these two pair which is written here. Clearly say that this is nothing but my geometric series. So once it's a geometric series, how you can find the sum of the geometric series when n varies from 1 that is a over 1 minus r. So we can find this a, what is the a, a is my minus half, r is my minus half. We can take here this negative sign because of this one. So the actual sum is my 1 by 3. So if I substitute the actual sum here and here, you will see the error is my 1 by 12, which is a positive sign. Why? Because you can see, because we have taken the two terms, the third term will be my positive. So that's my here. Also, you can see the error l minus of 1 by 4 is less than of 1 by 18 that is a satisfied why is 1 by because of the next unused term if you consider the first three term then s3 will be my 3 by 8 if you substitute here you can see it's my negative sign which is the sign of this next term and if you if you look about that this is a minus 1 by 24 absolute value of this is less than of the next term next what is the next term is 1 by 16 you can see that so this again is matched there because it's 1 by 24 is always less than of the 116 is my true so it means this estimation theorem is well established about this concept now look at these some examples find the magnitude of the error involved in the first four terms to approximate the infinite series remember this theorem remember this theorem is applicable only for the alternating series 
remember this is only for the alternative series and before applying the magnitude you have to prove that this is a convergent if the series is not convergent then you are unable to find the error bound so firstly you have to prove that this is a convergent because this is the alternating series so we have to apply this Leibniz test so what is the Leibniz test is here if you look about that an is my 1 by n clearly say that it's a positive what is the derivative of this it's minus 1 over n square which is a less than 0 this is satisfied and what is the limit of the a n as n approaches infinity 0 so all these three conditions satisfied so series is convergent by Leibniz test so therefore we can apply this alternating estimation theorem so I can expand this series in terms of here n is 1 it's 1 upon 1 and so on now you have to find up to the four terms it means 1 2 3 4 up to here you have to consider since n is 4 it is my here what is the next unused term is this is my a n plus 1 so I can substitute here which is my 1 by 5 so the error of whatever this series sum is less than of 1 by 5 what is the nature of this because this is the positive sign so the error is my positive in nature that is here look about the another example again you have to find the magnitude of the error up to the four terms of the infinite series so firstly you have to prove that by using the Leibniz test whether this is a convergent or not what is the a n is 1 upon 2 raised to power n clearly says that 1 over 2 raised to power n is my convergent series by Leibniz test so therefore what is the error of this so what is the nature is n is my 4 so I can consider 1 2 3 up to this term so what is that part this is my which is less than of 1 over 2 raised to power 5 that is 32 up to the first four term which is here the next unused term is my here 2 raised 1 upon 2 raised to power 5 and the nature is my positive so the error is my positive inside look at the one more example so find the error which is alternating series so it can be applicable so firstly you have to prove that it is a convergent what is the a n this is 1 over n square once it's n square you can see a n is greater than 0 what is the derivative of this which is minus 2 over n q which is always less than 0 for all n in the natural number because once it's a natural number n is a positive and what is the limit of the a n as n approaches infinity that's my 0 so all these three conditions are satisfied so therefore by using the Leibniz test this series is convergent once this is a convergent we can expand this series like here and then by using the alternating series how many terms we consider 4 up to here the first unused term is my 1 over 25 and the error what is the error is L minus S4 what is the nature of this is this is my positive so this is my greater than 0 that is S4 is underestimates the sum of S actual sum here S4 is less than of L so S4 is underestimate the actual sum this is the way you can find the error bounds on the alternating series remember this is only for the this is only for alternating series not for the complete one so I hope you can simply learn that. We will see some more lectures related to the power series and the radius of convergence in our next lecture. Till then you can simply like, share and comment my these videos. Best of luck students. Happy learning.